And here we are back again at Snohomish High School. We're tonight the Panthers taking on the Meadowdale Mavericks. And with us right now, the head coach for Snohomish, Ken Roberts. Coach, uh, a team you've seen once already this year, a low-scoring affair. You don't normally see games in which a team scores under 40 and wins, and yet that's the way it was last game. Are we expecting more of the same tonight? I hope not. I think we've both <laughs> set basketball back about 30 years in girls' basketball. So Kyra Beckman, we were up 12 nothing, and Kyra went out. It was our first game playing without her. And it took us a long time to get adjusted. And uh, it was actually down to a two-point game in the fourth quarter, and then we finally stretched it out. We missed a lot of shots. And I think with Kyra back in there, we'll be better. And um, our kids have also been playing without her for the last six games. So, you know, just moving kids' positions a little bit changes things. And they're used to it now, whether she's there or not. So it'll help. How is the health of the team right now? We know Kinsley's obviously injured. You mentioned Kyra having a, some issues there. Uh, all around, though, looking at the roster, how are we looking? Well, we had another girl sprain an ankle yesterday, a little freshman that helped. She's starting to help us a little bit, Bree Nichols. And uh, so Bree's out, Kinsley's out. Kyra's playing for the first time in three games. And uh, yeah, you know, it's still she's got a bone bruise. It's painful. It's still bothering her. We've been trying to rest her as much as possible, but it just takes a little bit of a wrong movement, and, and it hurts. So it's it's kind of been weird. We were really peaking and starting to play really good basketball, and then Kenzie tore ACL, and Kyra's been out, so we kind of plateaued a little bit. Hopefully with Kyra back tonight, we start going forward again. Big game of this magnitude, obviously, you need to make sure you get the victory first and foremost. If you do, in fact, build a lead at some point, does Kyra come out maybe earlier than she normally would? Uh, I don't know. Um, part of it is conditioning, too. Um, mm -hmm. She's been out a lot. La I mean, four of the last six games we've sat her. And it's not just the games. We've sat her for a week at a time of practice. One time we got 13 days off in a row. Um, you know, so it's one of those things that we'll see. Um, I need to make sure she's in shape. She went hard Monday, and she was gassed. <laughs> and so it had been a while. So, you know, we need her to be healthy. We also need her to be in shape. So there's that fine line. Healthy comes first, obviously. Sure. But um, it, it might not be the case tonight if we need her to, if, if we feel she's a little winded. And again, first thing is we have to build a lead. I'm not even thinking about that part right now. I'm just thinking about our kids playing well. And if that happens, we'll make a decision later. It'd be a nice decision to be able to make, yeah, right? Yeah, I hope I get you. <laughs> and one last question, too. I know last night, a uh, big upset in the league. Linwood taking down Edmonds Woodway. That's a seven over a two. In some ways, is that maybe helpful for you in terms of going out and telling your girls in the locker room, hey, don't get too complacent over the fact that yeah. you're, you're number one seeded here. Smaller seeds or lesser seeds can knock off teams. Did you use that in terms of your talk, or no, is that not, not even needed? Not at all. We just we worry about ourselves and focus on what we do. And, um, you know, I'm not using stuff like that to try to motivate kids. It's, uh, you know, we've, we've always focused on process here, not on results taking the right shots. I don't think our kids get all that nervous at districts because we focus on, you know, shooting the right shots, doing the right things. If we miss, so be it, you know. And I think it frees them up to just play, and I'm not going to talk about that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, you've been here before, so you know what's going on. Well, that's what I told them before the game, is you guys have been here before. I pointed to each kid and said, you played a huge game at state last year. You were great through districts and state last year. You've been there two years. And we've got a number of kids that have been there before. They've been in the Tacoma Dome. Um, you know, we've been first, first, and second in districts the last three years, so we've got a, a kids with experience there before. Even though we're still young, we have some seniors that were part of that team. We have some juniors that were key contributors on those teams. So, yeah, they've been there, and they need to know that, you know, it does. The, the focus level, the intensity level, everything steps up a notch right now, and they've done it before, and hopefully they'll do it again. Steps up here in just a few minutes. Coach, thank you very much for your time. Best thank of luck you. tonight.